maybe the friendliest, funniest and most outgoing people of the world. It's my pleasure to present the totally awesome Brazilians. Few people enjoy life as much as Brazilians, but how do they pull it off? It's not as easy as it might seem. So I've been spending quite a lot of time in this country now, and I'm not gonna lie to you, a lot of things still don't make sense to me. <laughs> Let's go through a few of them. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> What makes Brazilian special? Well, this is a huge country and naturally it's not exactly the same everywhere. In this guide we hang out in Rio. First off, how is Brazil different from the rest of the world? Good vibes! Alegria! We have caipirinhas, açaí, Amazonia. They are very open to people who are not from Brazil. Dancing all the time and of course the, the beautiful bodies. Confident about themselves, that's typical Brazilian for me. Confidence, happiness and rhythm, that's a decent summary. Yes, every single person in this country can dance. How do you spot a Brazilian in a crowd? You simply don't. The Brazilians are a mix of pretty much everything and they like to have their own individual look. And yeah, they are not afraid to dress bold. Coisas típicas de brasileiros também, beber muita cerveja, mesmo sem ter quase nenhum dinheiro. Samba, beijar. 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 Os brasileiros gostam de beijar, gostam de toque, são muito calientes. So true. Wherever I point my camera, there's someone making out. Kissing is simply not a big deal here. It's done out of love, passion, or just to make your party more interesting. Don't freak out if a stranger asks to kiss you. Tawani? One thing that's typical for Brazilians. One typical thing about Brazilians. Um, we hate being alone. We love being with friends, but we're never in time. So you always have to wait for us. That's good to know. Por que você gosta dos brasileiros? Por conta da energia das pessoas. Mira a câmera. No. <laughs> I am karaoke and I love the energy of the people, the fire. They are always happy. So what I'm missing in other countries, that people are not so open. It's very, very hard to find someone complaining about something here. We are happy independent of our financial condition. This is the part most important. Not money, but the happiness of the people. Based on their carefree attitude, this one might surprise you. Almost all of them believe in God. Ah, coisas típicas brasileiras também. Brasileiros são muito religiosos. Sempre vão falar de Deus, vão ter fé. E quando vão conversar com as pessoas, vão falar sempre de religião. E também vão perguntar muito sobre o seu signo. Essas coisas assim. So, what about the bad stuff? Well, I have a small complaint. First thing that comes to mind is that Brazilians simply don't have a sense of time. They just can't arrive in time. They never do, they never will. You just have to deal with this fact. Brasileiro nunca chega no horário. Você fala que vai é, estou chegando em 30 minutos, mas ele demora 2 horas para chegar. Sim. If you say 8 p.m., they're gonna arrive at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Don't feel bad if they are late, or well, very late. It's just their culture. They don't mean any harm about it. People take their time, and you just have to be okay with that. Wait, there is more. If you want to invite some Brazilians to go to a party or to your house, anything, if they say yes, maybe that yes is gonna be no. Maybe they're gonna not gonna show up. Come on, we're, we're missing the party here. Brazilian, we have like some this problem to say no to people. We never say no, okay, no, I don't want you to go with you. We sometimes just say, okay, be beleza. But when the time arrives to meet everyone, sometimes you don't show up. That's common in Brazil. And I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. And how to handle this? Pick a location where you can enjoy 
enjoy the wait. Make sure to bring a book if you're waiting for a Brazilian. And just appreciate the fact that you're in one of the most glorious countries in the world. And really, that's like the only bad thing I can think about. Here's an important thing to know. Brazilian girls put a lot of time and effort into looking good and are proud of their efforts and eager to share each step with the rest of the world. So while you just want to enjoy a lazy day in the sun, she might have other priorities. Every man in Brazil works double as a photographer. And there is no shortage of photo locations in Rio. Like 200 photos of the same thing. Você está feliz? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Super. Yeah, she's finally happy. Treat yourself with a caipirinha. You've deserved it. Even though few speak fluent English, most Brazilians will enjoy interacting with you. And don't be put off by mere body language. Brazilians are inherently happy and social. The frown will soon be replaced by laughter. <laughs> what can I say? They just know how to have fun. Brazilians are world champions at making new friends. Some more good stuff. We have caipirinha here. It's the best caipirinha of the, the, the world. It's a paradise. <laughs> Most beautiful thing about Rio is people. People here hug you, talk to you, bring you things that you can imagine. I think everyone has to live this in some moment of their life. Also, tattoos are almost mandatory for a modern Brazilian and are worn with pride. Obrigado, amigo! Calma, não começa de. Uma coisa, não. Ele de novo. Remember, Brazilians often joke about or criticize their country. Don't do that as a tourist. They take great pride in their culture and stay out of politics. They are very open to people who are not from Brazil. Within a few minutes, they want to know where you're from, what you're doing. And especially if you know a little bit of the language, it gets you so far. Sempre que a gente pode, a gente está fazendo festa. Sempre inventando motivo para fazer festa. Brasileira muito festeira. Muito, muito. A gente inventa motivo para tudo para fazer festa. A melhor coisa que tem no Brasil são os brasileiros. São simpáticos, são acolhedores. What is typical for Brazilians? Beach and beer. Aproveitar a vida, né? Mais leve, a gente curte mais leve. Cheers. What is typically Brazilian to you? Carnaval. Best friend. Better body. Yeah, better body. Better body? Yes. We have legs. Totally. For me, caipiroshka. Por que não caipirinha com cachaça? I prefer caipiroshka. In Rio, the beach is not really a touristic place. It's rather a large outdoor living room. What is typically Brazilian to you? Brazilian people suck. No, I cannot, I cannot use that. Go, Gringo! This is the worst noise I've ever heard. Brazilians like large food portions, which can be tricky if you dine solo. The lifestyle here in Rio for me as a tourist, because I still am a tourist, it is very different from my life back home, and it's just sometimes hard to uh, to be honest, it's hard to quit drinking, it's hard to quit going to parties, it's hard to just find time to relax enough to be a normal person. It's so easy to make friends here and I, I love my people. <laughs> Something different, <laughs> something special here. <laughs> Almost forgot, Asai. Brazilians love their healthy purple Wonderberry, and you will too. Cariocas stay outside even after sundown. And while many spend a lot of time on social media, they still prioritize real socializing. Uma coisa particular é Brasil. Marquinha. Eu gosto muito. 
ficar coradinha. É algo que os brasileiros gostam bastante. Brazilians are proud of their culinary culture and tend to stick to their local products. And for good reason. Come, come closer here. Look at these limes. Every single one is just perfect. Então, uma coisa típica, os brasileiros. Pastel com caldo de cana. Você encontra nas feiras livres. É muito bom. É muito gostoso. And when it comes to beer, there is a strict rule. So, there is one uh, special thing about Brazilians and beer, right? Yes. It has to be super, super, super cold. <laughs> if it's not super, super, super cold, they say it's quente. Quente. It's awful. We're talking when it's close to zero degrees Celsius, it's quente. You have to change it because no one will drink it. Only the trash can. <laughs> it's for the trash can. Brazilians dine out as often as they can, but since they're experts in their food, they can be picky and simply refuse to eat something that is not cooked to perfection. Uma coisa typical as brasileiras. Bikinis, andar peladas. It doesn't matter how old you are, Brazilians love meeting up outside after dark. The best party in town is often not inside some fancy club, but on the streets, especially during carnival. But not only during carnival, any given weekend, you'll see people dancing and having fun right under the moon. But it's not like there's any shortage of official nightlife venues in Rio. Cariocas love to party. Party-wise, they can be quite bold and wild, with no problem approaching a total stranger. But in the end, the night is just as much about chatting with your friends. All the videos of you, man. You still like it? I them? love it. I love it. Cariocas rarely have a bad night out. They make sure to always enjoy. And they never say no to the free concerts constantly popping up in Rio. Let's round this off with a few words of wisdom. In Brazil, we celebrate difference. We like the mix of the people of the other countries. I think this creates a better culture. And that, my friends, is why Brazil is so great. They celebrate the difference. Listen to this, Russia. <laughs> I mean, how can you not love these people? Essas são as coisas mais típicas dos brasileiros. The Brazilian culture is just unique and we have a lot of things to learn from it. Well, apart from that time thing then. So, I hope you learned something from this video and that it made you feel like you really gotta get here. Because this is a place you need to experience you will not regret it. That's it. Next up, I have some huge personal news to share with you. Yes, <laughs> I made it. You'll need to wait about a month to see what it is. Thanks for watching and be safe.